Now here I am, one year on carnivore. Same exact location, August 2023, four years later. I was shocked when I compared these two side by side. Well, hello again, everybody. It's me, Mitch. And today I want to record a little video in response to a lot of questions that have been asked to me in the chat. The one thing you may have noticed is missing from all of my videos are pictures of me being a fat guy on one side and a thin guy on the other. I don't know if maybe you think I'm hiding something, but uh, I've been meaning to do this video because there is no better proof of what I've been saying all along and how beneficial this carnivore lifestyle has been to my, not only my appearance, but every aspect of my health. So today we're going to do a then and now video. Before we start, let me preface this with just a few caveats. Number one, I've always been health conscious. I've been trying to be low carb for over 50 years. I've been on and off many, many diets and the normal high weight that I would get to in between diets was pushing 200 pounds. My low weight throughout those 50 years was about 155 to 165. So God knows how many times I bounced around between 155 or so, 160, and 190 to 200, which when you think about it is a, you know, 40 plus pounds difference. It's astounding just how much 40 pounds looks when you look at the old pictures. Another thing is that any old pictures of me that looked fat, I, I, I didn't save. Why would I want to save pictures of me? So I went digging and digging through all of these pictures I have. And I've come up with some pictures of me at different points in my journey along the way. And we're going to compare them to each other and how I look now. And I hope that you'll be as just astounded at the difference from then compared to now. Okay, there you have me from a YouTube video I made four years ago. And I hadn't seen this in years, but when I took a look at this video and I looked at the shape of my face, forget about my body, I was absolutely astounded. I think that someone who hasn't seen me until today would not have recognized that guy if he ran into him. Now this comparison is uh, on the left is me right now and on the right is me during one of my drone live streams and again uh, I don't know where my cheeks went um, but they disappeared. Incredible but uh, like I said when I first saw these comparisons I knew that I'd lost some weight. I knew that my body composition had changed, but I had no idea that it was this drastic. <laughs> I affectionately named this picture Big Mitch. Th that was actually taken maybe 35 years ago. And I think at that particular point, I may have had a 40, maybe even a 42 inch waist. Uh, I didn't think that was anything out of the ordinary, but I was on one of my yo-yo diet peaks. And this was probably, I think, as big as I ever got in my life. But uh, I look at that picture and I can't believe that was me either. Now, the picture on the left was me taking a selfie. And that's probably about, I would say, eight, eight, maybe seven, eight, nine years ago. 
And at that point, I was probably weighing maybe 170, 175. And I was taking the selfie because I was so proud of how thin I, how thin I looked. And of course, the picture on the right is me a couple weeks ago. Uh, look at the waist and the shape of the face. And it, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. I keep saying that, but every time I look at these things, I, I actually can't believe that that human being could have turned into what I am today. And it only started happening within the past year when I stopped everything but eating a carnivore uh, lifestyle. Okay, in this picture, we are up there again, probably 185, 190. This was taken about 15 years ago. And again, you, you know, you can see my belly there is, uh, is <laughs> obvious for what it is. And also, you can see my face. Let me see if I can zoom in on my face here a little bit. And you can see just how round a face that I actually had. I mean, I don't think I was bad looking, but I, 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 I was definitely carrying some weight there. Boy, this is a real walk down memory lane for me. That uh, was probably 16, 17 years ago. And uh, that was my, my typical look. I was a tropical shirt kind of guy. And this is how you'd usually see me. I love the tropical shirts because I could wear them outside of my pants and not have to tuck them in, and show off my belly. But there it is, the same round face. Um, never lost that round face until carnivore. Now here's a pretty picture. My last live stream, I, I told a story about my melanoma on my nose and I took this particular picture uh, when I had it all bandaged up right after the, the uh, skin graft and surgery. Uh, but I did notice looking at this picture that my face was thinner at that point. And obviously at that point, I had probably been doing pretty good on one of the yo-yos down at the bottom end and uh, some of that round face went away. This was six or seven years ago. And yet in that first picture I showed you from four years ago, my big round face was back. So that's just evidence that I've spent my entire life on that roller coaster until uh, I started carnivore a year ago. I opened my restaurant back in 2007. And uh, this was a picture of some friends and myself sitting out in front of the restaurant. Um, Again, we're in, the, uh, we're in the tropical shirt, but you can see that uh, I was not thin in that picture. And the problem was that uh, having a restaurant is not conducive to staying thin. <laughs> speaking, speaking of the restaurant, this was me on the day we actually fired up our kitchen, the restaurant wasn't open yet, but we had fired up the kitchen for the first time and the cooks were practicing and they made me, God, it was good, a crab cake on top of linguine with a burr blank sauce and it, it was fabulous and you can see that I was really enjoying it and that, I got news for you, that food did not help much. Now here I am, 20, 25 years ago. Uh, this, uh, this was pretty typical of where I stayed most of the time uh, between success on the diet, which never really lasted long. When I finally got down to where I thought, hey, I'm thin now, I'm there, that never lasted more than a few months before somehow something triggered me and off I went back up again. But most of my life, I seemed to be able to maintain this weight, which was about 170, 175. And uh, although I have no gray, because this was quite a while ago, you can see that even then, I, I, I still had that round face that, uh, that I, I don't have, and I certainly don't have now. And that brings me 
to today. Now, when I first looked in the mirror at the gym, this was taken three, four weeks ago. When I first looked in the mirror at the gym and saw that, I almost dropped. I could not believe it because for the first time in my life, I had looked in the mirror and I, I looked like just a normal man instead of the Pillsbury Doughboy. Uh, my face, the shape of my face compared to the round face pictures you've just seen was, was crazy. It was crazy. I never thought that a face could change quite that much. But it wasn't just my face that changed. I have had not only getting rid of all of the things that were wrong with me, which aren't wrong with me now, getting a whole new mental perspective and psychological profile designed to not want any of the crap that I used to want, to see the physical transformation and the mental and psychological transformation that one year of eating carnivore with no deviations, I'm still dumbfounded. I still would not have believed that this was possible, that Mitch could get down on the floor and do 25 push-ups without breaking a sweat because one year ago today, I could not do two push-ups, not two. And by pushing, trying to get that second push-up up, I thought I got so out of breath that uh, I had to rest. So one year, eat meat. It happened to me, and, and that's all I can. That's all I can show you guys. So, I think you've seen enough of me then and now. At least I'll have this video out there on the record, so the next time somebody asks me the question, I can say, oh, I happen to have a video of that on my channel. Does that sound familiar? I've always wanted to do that. And you can see, without a doubt, that there have been just profound changes in every aspect of my life from one year. I weighed 138 pounds this morning. I have 15% body fat, so I'm not starving to death. My BMI is 20, and my digital uh, scale that does the body measurements says that I'm pretty well with, within the range of a normal weight for a male my age and my height. So even though everybody's telling me that I'm starving to death, I'm getting too skinny, I don't think so. I think that I'm getting the kind of body that a 20 or 30 year old might consider normal. And uh, certainly you don't find in too many 76 year old men, one year on carnivore. So <laughs> with that, we'll wrap this up. Y'all have the rest of the day off and Eat meat.